Right guys, how's it going? Right, so basically this is the Paul Wicksteed Amarillo smash beer that I did uh, as a tra uh, tribute beer for him. Um, basically the day that I found out what happened, which was a Sunday, I brewed up this and I tell you what, it is crystal bloody clear. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I wanted to try this last week, but it still didn't carve up properly. But now nah, this is carved up now. Well, I can't believe how clear it is. Wow. Anyway, right. So. Right, this is the one with the hops as well. Mm, right, let's give it a go. Anyway, cheers. <coughs> bam, 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 bam. That's nice. That is really clean. Crisp, with no aftertastes, no anything. Beautiful. Normally, I have like a little, a slight twang or something, but god damn it! Look at that, guys. That I've got to say. It's one of the clearest beers I've I've made. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, wow. here's to you, Paul Wicksteed. I think I did you proud on this one, mate. This is beautiful beer. Absolutely stunning. I can't believe, honestly, I cannot believe how clear it is. It is crystal bloody clear. This is a brew in a bag. No chill. And these don't always come out crystal clear. It might have something to do with the fact that it take it took three weeks to get to this um, conditioning stage. Uh, basically, I left it in, in the front room and the heat's not been getting up to 20 degrees. It's roughly about average in about 15. So, yeah, it's, it's taking its time. So, I don't know whether the cold weather has made it clear, but... I am blown away, absolutely stunningly blown away by, see, it's got a lot of Amarillo hops in it, <coughs> this is the one that I showed you all, it all had Amarillo hops in my new uh, PT carboy, well bet bottle carboy, god damn it. Mm -mm -mm. That is nice. Smell wise, I can't really smell the hops. Well, it's definitely got an aroma to it. It's been a long time since I've used Amarillo that I could be getting confused, and that's what it is. But I've got the maltiness and the bitterness and everything bang on. This will do this would do me proud in a competition, I think. I can't stress how clear it is. Uh the picture 
quality is pretty crap. It's the lighting, but man, that. Glorious. Look at that. Sorry, that's me geeking now. <laughs> it's, um, it's pretty rare in my house to get a crystal clear beer like that. I've got 16 more bottles of this. I think I'm going to drink them quick. God damn it. Anyway, there we go, guys. It's been three weeks waiting for this to condition. It's ready. And this weekend is going to be mainly consist of drinking this. So, all right, guys. Oh, quickly. Tomorrow... I'm gonna go to the home brew shop. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some grains, and I'm gonna get some spray malt, dry malt, dry, bleh, dry malt extract. I'm gonna do an extract beer. Uh, no chill. So obviously I can't do a brew in a bag because it's extract, but. It's the same principle, sort of, well, it's the way my setup is. So, it's going to be no chill, and I'm going to see what that turns out like. Whew, that was bloody lovely. Anyway, right, as always guys, I'll see you in the next video.